Today we're going to talk about configuration of Open Insight's engine server. The Open Insight engine server is software that is responsible both for communicating with the user interfaces such as CTO, AREF32, Telnet, and OECGI2, and for creating, communicating with, and shutting down Open Insight's Open Engine. One of the requirements for the engine server is to download the Java runtime environment JRE6 Update 2. In order to determine if this is installed on your system, you need to open up your command prompt and type in the following command Java minus version. If the Java runtime environment is installed, you'll see Java version 1.6.0 underscore 02. If you don't have this installed, you need to go to the java.sun.com site and go to the JR downloads, the JE download section. Once at the download site, just simply click on the download button for Java Runtime Environment JRE6 Update 2. This will install on your system and does not require a reboot. We will now start the engine server in a manual mode for testing purposes. To do this, you need to go to your Open Insight directory, typically found under the RevSoft folder, and again type in the following command java minus jar space oe socket server dot jar and hit, hit enter. This will launch the engine server in manual mode, and we know things will be running properly when we see a licensing message appear. We can then simply minimize the engine server um, and then continue to use Open Insight. And here you can see um, the license version, and I will now minimize the engine server and will launch Open Insight. From within Open Insight, we will now uh, choose the CTO child form from the Open Insight form executables. And I'm going to run the CTO standalone form by hitting Shift double click. And this will enter us into the character interface into Open Insight. You can see now we are at a TCL interface in character mode. And I will now type in list files. and we can see the files appear so we know that we are in the character interface and that our engine server is now communicating to the open engine. To stop our engine server running in manual mode we need to just hit control C to return to the command prompt. At this point we're now going to show you how to configure your engine server to run as a service automatically within Open Insight. Inside your Open Insight directory is a folder called OE Server. Double click on this folder and we will now simply click the install app-nt.bat file. This will install the engine server as a service on your system. We also can install our Telnet server by clicking on install t app dash nt.bat. Once that is done, we need to now start the services. From your services tab, simply scroll down and look for your open OEngine server and double click it. Hit start and your engine server is now started. The same can be done for your Telnet server. Just again click Start and the Telnet server will be started automatically. Once installed as a service, you need no longer have to start your engine server if the service is configured on reboot to start up automatically. 
At this point, you are now free to use AREF32, OECGI2, CTL, and Telnet for open interfacing into OpenInsight. Thank you very much.